Peter Bogart out at the Pumpkin Ridge Passive House construction uh, where we've completed excavation and just laid in our subgrade uh, flowable fill to set our foam on. So this is the first in a series of documenting our process. Um, we've gone through excavation, we're now at subgrade, uh, which we've done with flowable fill to give us a level, level field to lay our foam into. Um, we brought the native soil to uh, eight inches below the bottom of our footing. So then we came back up with four inches of flowable fill. Uh, we'll then add another four inches of uh, foam to that, and then our concrete, our concrete footing will be poured on top of that. We've, we've done a couple different uh, techniques to get a level ground for our foam in Passive House construction. Um, this is really the brainchild of uh, my lead carpenter, Val and uh, I'll have him fill you in on the specifics. So I'm Val with Hammer in Hand, building the Pumpkin Ridge Passive House, lead carpenter. And what we've done, we just finished pouring our controlled density fill. And we, we decided to go with that instead of gravel and compacted to try to save on time and labor costs, although the material cost is a little more. Um, but what it does is it, his, it leaves us with a nice smooth flat layer for our foam that's going under our footings. So we should be able to snap lines and lay the foam a lot quicker too. So I see it as, as a, a few steps forward for a small amount of money.